Hello, my name is Les Doligain. I'm a lecturer at the University of Liverpool. I'm also a member of uh, the Consumer Data Research Centre, uh, CDRC, and today I'm going to talk about one of uh, our projects called UK Retail Centres and Retail Indicators. So let's start with a quick intro to CDRC. CDRC stands for Consumer Data Research Centre and is a platform for sharing consumer data in a secure, safe environment. It's an initiative between UCL, Oxford and Liverpool universities. The CDRC conduct research on various themes. I'm in charge of uh, the research uh, related to retail. So I am going to talk today about a project which we have been working on recently and uh, effectively we are going to look at a number of research questions such as where are the shopping areas? In fact, I'm going to deal with retail center boundaries here. Who uses the retail centers? And what are the characteristics of those retail centers? In terms of retail center definition, there are a couple of things which are really important. So first of all, it is important to realize that there is no uniform concept or definition of what a retail center is. There are a number of uh, different concepts that are often being used interchangeably. Um, and we talk here about town centers, high streets, retail centers, retail places, shopping agglomerations, and others. We often think that we know where the retail centers are. In fact, all local authorities in England are required by law to delineate those centers. However, if anyone wants to do some sort of retail-related research uh, at a national, regional, or even semi-regional scale, we quickly realize that there is no central database with uh, retail center boundaries. So uh, those have to be estimated. And another reason they have to be estimated, perhaps uh, over and over again, is that the boundaries, retail boundaries, are not static. They are allowed to expand and shrink over the time. So for example, here in Liverpool, uh, back in 2009, a large shopping centre called Liverpool One was uh, added to the existing retail uh, centre, retail boundaries, expanding in quite uh, significantly. And conversely, uh, retail centres uh, can shrink where, for example, uh, different retail units are converted into, or entire streets, are conver converted into different uses, such as residential. So in the past there were a number of different uh, attempts of delineating retail centers and some of them were used for quite long times for example the ones from uh, UCL CASA developed in early 2000 were adopted by then DCLG Department for Communities and Local Government and uh, they were using them to generate statistics on town centers uh, there were about 1300 of them in England and Wales and they were called town centers because they included retail and employment areas uh, however, the extent wasn't that great, which is shown here in red on that map. As uh, when we look at, uh, for example, local data company points, retail points, shown in yellow, about 50% in some cases are not accounted for, which have uh, obviously significant implications in terms of uh, their characteristics, indicators, uh, performance and so on. So for that reason, we decided to delineate our own retail centers back in 2014-15 and we finished that in 2016. Uh, we used uh, local data company occupancy data uh, and we delineated uh, th over 3,000 centers for the entire of Great Britain. And these were retail and cons consumption specific. And as you can see here, uh, the extent was much better. It covered all pretty much retail units. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so that was a kind of nice improvement on the previous version. It's also important to acknowledge that there are other attempts uh, uh, which are either licensed, like high streets uh, developed by Oldman Survey, or there are commercial products like retail places developed by Joetix. Currently we are working on a new version of those retail centers where we employ open source data only, such as evaluation office agency data and open street map data. We also use transparent methodology. This is uh, H3 
spatial grid developed by Uber. Um, our retail centers again are retail and consumption specific, so we do not include employment areas. The spatial extent is much better than previously and there is more granularity. It's also entire coverage of the entire UK. So if you look again at the same map as previously, we've got these two centers, Needham Road and uh, Allerton Road, shown in, in blue, that's the previous ones. And in orange, you can see the new extent. So the, the previous extent accounted for also uh, some residential areas as we um, had a buffer there. But now the special extent covers only the retail units pretty much as they are. And there are many more of them as in the same special extent we have about eight retail centers as opposed to two only previously. So here I'll have a little bit more details on the actual data and methods implemented. So we used uh, for the new version of retail centers 2021, we used uh, mainly the VOA, Valuation Office Agency, retail points data. They were available for England and Wales. There were almost twice as many as OSM, which stands for OpenStreetMap retail points data. And for Scotland and Northern Ireland, we did not have access to VOA data. That's why we only could use the OpenStreetMap data. Uh, we use shops and different amenity points. And in here on the right hand side, we've got all the categories we use for the VOA retail data and uh, different uh, shops and amenities from uh, OSM databases. We also use OSM retail land use polygons, uh, typically to delineate uh, various retail parks and out of town shopping centers. And in terms of the actual method, as already mentioned, we use H3 hexagonal spatial grid, which was developed by Uber. And uh, there are different uh, resolutions. We used resolution 11, which is an equivalent of about uh, 50 meters in diameter. So each hexagonal we have has got about 50 meters in diameters. We use various thresholds. So uh, <clears throat> two different thresholds, in fact, 15 units that would be uh, applicable to valuation office agency data and 10 units uh, applicable to OpenStreetMap data. The difference is because there were almost twice as many VOA points than OSM. So OSM we use only to supplement basically the VOA data. In terms of the actual validation, we ask a number of different stakeholders to provide feedback on all those areas they are familiar with or they have been working on. But we also use the number of existing products to compare our retail centers against. And these were the uh, Oldnall Survey High Streets data product and um, also geolytics scientists, they, they um, kindly evaluated our product against their product. The retail centers are pretty much ready and they are shown here on this map. Uh, in fact, we have delineated over 6,000 of them. Exactly, this is 6,420. And each of these retail centers got a number of uh, attributes. So at the moment we have a unique ID, name, counts and hierarchy. And we are working on a number of different indicators especially for those uh, larger centers. So in terms of the actual name, each uh, retail center will have a name uh, that composed either of two or three parts. All the bigger centers will have two parts. So that will be, for example, Liverpool City, name of the place, and Liverpool Local Authority, name of the nearest local authority. And then all the smaller ones will also have a, uh, the name of the main street. In terms of the actual counts, we use both uh, local data company and VOA retail points. So we have total counts for, for all retail centers as well. And we also have 60 uh, hierarchy, which I'm going to cover in a minute. And if you want to view those centers, there is a link here. And those centers are hosted by Cartel. In terms of the hierarchy, we have created a six tier hierarchy based on retail center function and size. And that uh, hierarchy is closely uh, aligned with the official government hierarchy. So in here, we've got Liverpool city region, uh, only the, the larger centers. And we have uh, uh, one regional center, which is Liverpool. Then we've got uh, 
couple of major town centers. Then we've got a number, small number of town centers. Pretty much each local authority has got uh, either town center, major town or regional center. And then we have a number of district centers, so market towns and small local, and local centers. The small local centers are not shown on this map. So on this map of Liverpool city region, we can see all regional centers. In fact, they spatial extent. And as we can see, the vast majority of them are very small. So around 150 are uh, classified as small local centers. Uh, what we are currently working on is a number of retail indicators, other uh, different than the ones which I've just outlined before. And we decided to uh, uh, obtain them only for the larger centers with uh, at least 100 uh, units. Uh, so that, in total, there will be about 1,100 uh, retail centers that will have all those indicators. So in here, we are looking at uh, retail center uh, composition, so in other words, retail services mix, then we look at vacancy rate and vacancy rent change over the time, which can be used to estimate uh, retail center economic performance. We also are interested in the diversity. We would like to develop some sort of uh, clone town measure, and we have a footfall in for a number of those uh, larger retail centers, so we create a footfall index as well. Right, so this is what we have been doing so far, and in this before last slide, I'm going to focus on our next steps. So first of all, we are going to delineate retail catchments for all those retail centers. And here we've got uh, different types of considerations that uh, are kind of important. So first of all, we are thinking of splitting those centers into two different types, comparison retail and convenience retail destinations. The comparisons, uh, comparison retail destinations are the larger centers that typically focus on higher order goods, have very comprehensive offer, and as such draw customers from large areas. As opposed to convenience retail, which typically offer food and everyday kind of services and draw customers from more local areas. In terms of the actual techniques, we are thinking of implementing drive times, which will delineate the kind of simple uh, retail catchments, but also we would like to implement spatial interaction modeling, in fact, a half model as we did previously, uh, in order to account for different complexities related to consumer behavior and uh, competition from other centers. Another product which we are going to work on soon is uh, called Retail Resilience. And this is a product that will um, explore the vulnerability of retail centers to the internet sales. And this is going to be based on <clears throat> the previous, uh, previously developed uh, framework, which uh, looks at both demand and supply factor. On the demand factors, we have something called propensity, catchment propensity for online shopping, where we use internet user classification to develop a profile of each catchment in relation to uh, online shopping. And then we also look at the structures of retail centers, uh, the occupancy, uh, the performance and other things, and how vulnerable they are to those, retail, uh, to those uh, online sites. And finally, we are going to focus on a multidimensional typology of uh, those retail centers. So, not only the hierarchy uh, is that we are going to focus on, but also kind of multidimensional typology. So we are going to look at a number of different domains that will, will allow us to uh, compare those centers across time and space and across those different uh, domains. And this is uh, related to our previous research uh, as well. So this is all. Thank you very much. And in here I've attached a couple of our papers that uh, provide more details on all those projects which we are going to do now and we already did them in the past. So this is uh, multidimensional typology. Here in the middle we've got resilience and then we've got catchment areas on the right hand side. So thank you very much for your attention.